Welcome back to the Remote Dual Invitational. We are on day two and we just finished our first two top uh, eight matches. So we have our first top four ready. But now it's time to find out the other half of the bracket. What is it going to happen? Who is going to be the first player in the other half to advance to the top four? We have uh, a really spicy one for you guys. Uh, we saw yesterday that uh, the brackets were actually quite different. On the left side, we saw a lot of uh, the uh, control decks, so Alter Guys, Paleozoics, and a lot of uh, uh, just trap decks overall. While on the right side of the bracket, it was mostly combo decks, so Dragon Link uh, and uh, the deck that we have to talk about because it's the one coming up, which is gonna be uh, Donovan LeBlanche playing the same deck we just witnessed uh, winning. Yeah. So it was the Red Eye Seldrick deck. So no surprise, we just saw how powerful it is. Uh, it uh, completely destroying the opposition. But Christian proved us all wrong with his 49 cards Phantom Knight deck. It was uh, crushing everyone yesterday. And what are your thoughts on it in general? Yeah, I mean, with only two cards yesterday, he was able to put up a huge Rusty Bartish and uh, three or four interruptions, yeah. so it's kind of scary. And I think uh, it's going to be a tough one because uh, the Phantom Knight's Boring Abyss deck is very consistent, and uh, as well with the Dawn Scale, you actually can put up a huge field. Yeah, once more, uh, uh, these guys uh, uh, proved us uh, that they are not only capable of qualifying to such an event because uh, Christian uh, went all the way uh, down to the second place, and is the only player remaining uh, that uh, qualified through the Italian qualifier. So in a way, we have to support him even more. Uh, but he's up against uh, one of the French ones. And uh, it will surely be interesting. Uh, but here, we will find out who will it be to advance to the top four. Is it going to be the control deck? Is it going to be the combo deck? Uh, traps against monsters? Uh, let's find out. Our players are ready. So let's go to the table. Okay, so here they are. Um, what do you think here? Uh, we were talking about the how good the Phantom Knight's deck is. Maybe could he have a slight advantage going first? I would say this is one of the first matches where the die roll uh, seems uh, quite important because uh, having uh, cards like Solemn Judgment and especially Torrential Tributes against the, the Phantom Knight decks would be I think completely different from having to fight back, especially because uh, LeBlanc is not maining any hand traps. So, yeah. Okay, so a seven uh, from Donovan. Is it gonna be enough? It's the average uh, roll for two dice. So. Yeah, maybe we just a clarification for how many mm -hmm. dice should be rolled. Ah, uh, yeah. yeah. It's possible yeah, that. Maybe... Christian doesn't have a second one, but yeah, doesn't seem so, so. Do you think the uh, if Christian uh, picked up on the stream yesterday and knows that he's up against such a trap heavy deck, uh, he will change uh, the ending board? Because like, uh, the traps are completely useless, I feel like. Uh, usually he ended with fog blades, yeah. uh, but... Yeah, I mean, the fog blades are yeah. useless. They are pointless. Kind of deck. Yeah, I think he had a... He had enough time to study uh, his opponent's deck. I mean, yesterday, mm -hmm. I think uh, maybe he could go for another combo because uh, the fog blades are not good. Wow, and <laughs> once again, uh, ooh, but the Ash, okay. Never mind. So, once again, the Red Ice player starting with the Fusion and uh, the Ash, uh, unfortunately, although in 49 cards, stops Donovan. Uh, three back rows are in the way, and now it's Christian's turn to prove to us uh, if he can not only break a board, uh, but fight through some traps. So, let's see. The the start is not the best, but he probably had the boots. Or no, okay, one of the level three, so the Psychic uh, uh, Wheeler. And now, uh, is it gonna be Cherubini? Yes, the Christian showed us that uh, with only two cards he can uh, potentially yeah. put up... He can do a lot, but yeah. he did not play against traps, yeah. and uh, a strike here is uh, quite bad, so... 
tough times. Uh, uh, sometimes we get ahead of ourselves, and we just think a lot of the combos uh, are cool to watch, uh, cool to learn. But uh, Donovan is just bringing us all back to old school Yu-Gi-Oh and uh, setting multiple traps and just uh, showing you how they did it uh, uh, back in uh, our days, I guess. <laughs> and now I think Christian really needs to find uh, another way to continue his combo, mm -hmm. because uh, he's going for gloves. Yeah, usually you would uh, be okay searching up for a fog blade uh, or uh, or any other way, but uh, right now, yeah, he's probably just gonna add uh, the new uh, Phantom Knight uh, card yeah. for the next turn, unless he has uh, multiple other extenders, but... Yeah, I think he knows what his opponent is playing, considering that yeah. he was the stream, so... He gets the boots uh, and... Uh, Let's see if he has a further way. Maybe the Brigadine could be Maybe. okay. Yeah. yeah, so Brigadine is a good way to continue. He will now be able to special summon the Boots and go for a Link Summon. So uh, This is very good because uh, Donovan need, really needs to, yeah, to, to have be a careful. strike or a Torrential because otherwise Christian would be able to continue. Yeah, but unfortunately the Cherubini is yeah, gone, gone and uh, it means that the combos are quite limited because the way you would do it is uh, use Cherubini, send the Graf, uh, get the Seer and that's already the Rusty Bardish plus the Cherubini back uh, for the Seer, so... Uh, without all the all of that, uh, the potential for this deck is uh, quite lower. Spider, maybe? Yeah, so Link Spider it's the field. Uh, and uh, it is used uh, afterwards uh, for a Link Chu. He has Phoenix, he has a few other options, uh, but uh, he will go for uh, the Preda plant yeah. at the moment. Let's see if Donovan has uh, any kind of interruption, because otherwise we would see Christian activating his own copy of uh, Red Ice Fusion. Mm -hmm. And maybe we will see for a second time or Okay. Wow, and it's a second wow. copy of Strike. Uh, what a start from uh, Donovan. Luckily, Christian had the Ash because I think if he just started with Dragoon and two Strikes, I think that would have been game over uh, right away. Now, all he needs to hope is that the set card uh, is not a Sanguine uh, because that would get the advantage out of end. Uh, but really, really annoying, uh, annoying stuff here from uh, Donovan. And now, as you said before, maybe the Fog Blade doesn't even do that much against uh, Donovan's deck. I mean, it's good against the other type of deck, but uh, mm -hmm. here... Uh, okay, luckily it's not the Sanguine, so at least uh, uh, Donovan didn't open uh, perfectly, let's say. And he needs to pick up a Curse Tesla, and he does! Wow! Off the top... Uh, Another incredible card, uh, probably the best one when you are in such a grind uh, spot uh, because every turn you get uh, a plus one on your opponent, so he pays 800 uh, and uh, this is getting uh, tough for Christian. We have, uh, yeah, we have yet to see this deck uh, lose uh, from Donovan, but let's see. He gets the Akero, uh, which is so good against uh, Christian's deck. Uh, just being able to get rid of uh, some of the resources in Grave, uh, it's uh, it's amazing. So, Looks like he's uh, in total control of the game mm -hmm. right now, and the Eldland for sure was the card he was uh, looking for. Christian, Maybe, uh, yeah. Christian on the other hand, is suffering because um, Double Soul and Strike was maybe unexpected. Do you think the last card in end might be uh, one of the two pieces of the fusion? It's like, what other cards would you not be setting ah, right, or using? Yeah, uh, I think you could have one, yeah. Maybe it's a Dark Magician it or... Could be a dark magician. Yeah, one of the two. Because otherwise, even the Golden Lord, I think you would have used the there. Yeah. Like, discarding it, so... Probably one of the, at least, the vanilla monsters in his deck, but... Wow, even the Solemn Judgment. So basically, Donovan End was Solemn Judgment, Double Strike and the Fusion. I don't think you could wish for more. Donovan says no. 
But I gotta mention that the life points are getting super low. Yeah. So maybe uh, if Christian is able to just put enough pressure on the board, uh, he might be able to steal this away. But as we can see here, he gets a fog blade. We already mentioned fog blade not being that useful. So. Let's see if uh, this will be enough uh, to push uh, for game. Well played by Christian here. He gets back uh, the Torrent Scales, and that way he can discard the nearly uh, add uh, Fog Blade. And maybe this could be enough, because he only needs to push 21. Yeah. This is, uh, I think he's considering it, because uh, he has, the other one has the Aquero, so he could maybe survive, but uh, he has activated already three, three three solens so mm -hmm. he's risking it yeah so he's showing his opponent uh, uh, the life points uh, just to make sure that they are equal uh, with a lot of solens going on uh, you want to make sure you do the math uh, right and Christian already proved us uh, how good he is uh, in mm -hmm. this deck I think he has been playing this deck for uh, a long period now yeah, he's probably the one who reminds me the most of Matteo, the winner of uh, the last uh, uh, Remote Duel Invitational, uh, because uh, they are both playing unique decks, uh, combo decks, uh, and uh, if that's the case, there is no one teaching you or showing you how it is done. You have to learn it yourself, uh, and uh, it means that the confidence uh, must be through the roof. So. You know, he gets the silent put and... Uh... Yeah, he's he just trying to figure it out, because he knows the last card in his opponent uh, field. Which, at the same time, makes me think, would you have got the Aguero? Yeah, I think he could have... Uh, add... Yeah, I mean, you you have to consider that your life points are relevant, because uh, activating three solemns means that... Uh, you could go. You, you could get uh, easily OTK. Ooh, and the teleport as well. So he was hiding uh, uh, the ace uh, under his sleep, and uh, this can change uh, quite a lot because now he has access uh, to the Christian too. Yeah. I think this is actually easy now from Christian. Uh, this is turning the game uh, upside down, and uh, we know that he's not playing Anthrop. So the card, as we mentioned, is most likely one of the Dark Magician or. Yeah. Red Eyes uh, Dark uh, Dragon, so... Uh, the Majority Teleport is saving a lot of games for our players this week. Yeah. So yesterday we've seen uh, how Visual World managed to... Ooh, and uh, a throwback uh, <laughs> with one of the first uh, XYZ's uh, Levier, so... Let's see what he comes back, maybe the gloves? Okay. Yeah, so now... I mean, you're confident yeah. if you're Christian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's. Uh, I mean, after uh, getting uh, Solemn three times, uh, I would be really happy if I were Christian. So. Yeah, it seems like uh, the opening from Donovan was extremely good, but the Ash, uh, I think, uh, completely turned the game upside down. Uh, he gave him a chance, and now with the Breaksword, I think this is a uh, game over. So the Breaksword just gonna get rid of the Aghero, and uh, I don't think there is anything that Do Donovan can yeah. do. Yeah. Wow. He picks up his cards and uh, Christian becomes the first uh, player to defeat uh, uh, this deck uh, uh, with such a good uh, show. So he's completely confident. He went second and faced uh, Fusion and Triple Solemn. So. And he proved us once again that uh, going second is not a problem for Christian because this is the second time uh, for him defeating uh, this yeah. deck and so... Tough, tough. So now the Donovan uh, is gonna take a look at the side deck, uh, but uh, he's also gonna be afraid because uh, if you think about it, uh, I struggle to think of a better end that he could be opening. So you have fusion, you have judgment, double strike, and you lost. So, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, I mean, yeah, maybe the only piece he was missing was the Red Desert Dragoon, but uh, nothing to complain. I mean, he had a really yeah. good hand also. Uh, uh, top deck, the Corsa Adland. Yeah, the Adland off the top was, I think, was almost uh, guaranteed uh, to give him the game. I'm still considering, though, if the game would have changed if he got the Sanguine. Maybe it wasn't enough to yeah, ATK. Maybe it was not enough, but uh, we we gotta we gotta give credit to Christian because he was able to play against three Solens. So I think it's incredible because he managed to 
you know, to, to fought back and, uh, and seal this, this first game. So now we take a look at the side decks and uh, for uh, Donovan, one thing I want to highlight uh, is uh, uh, the spiciest card in the side decks this weekend, uh, which is the Wake in the Dragon. We already briefly talked about it yesterday, but uh, it's gonna be uh, quite relevant here because Christian is playing cards like Lightning Storm and uh, Cosmic Cyclone. If that uh, were to happen, if, if he hits one of the, his opponent back rows, then maybe uh, the Waking the Dragon could be the card. And I think it's an instant uh, uh, game yeah. winner because you get to summon for free uh, the warrior from another planet. Yeah, I think this is the main issue that uh, Christian should be concerned about. And also because I don't, I don't think you have that many options against Phantom Net Burning Abyss deck, especially in this format, because mm -hmm. uh, all of the players are prepared enough to play against decks such as Virtual Wars, Zodiac Avalanche, and stuff like that. But against a deck like this, I mean, you have the Nibiru, which is very good. We have seen already yesterday hitting the Phantom Net deck, but uh, Rather than that, I think uh, the Wake the Dragon could save Donovan. Absolutely. Game. And uh, he needs some help because Christian has come prepared. He plays evenly, Red Rebute, uh, Feather Duster. So he has a lot of uh, uh, absolutely perfect tools against the Isop. And let's now see if Donovan uh, finds uh, once again... The fusion? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it doesn't seem so, but it's five back rows and that's it. Uh, the most simple opening in Yu-Gi-Oh! But Christian has so many ways to punish him. He plays free evenly matched, the uh, RP Feather Duster. And he has <laughs> the evenly. Is there a solemn face down? Okay. There is, okay. So, sign of relief from Donovan. Uh, but this still hurts because this yeah. is 4,000 gone in a blink of an eye. So, and yeah. there might be a second evenly too, okay. We move to Memphis 2, and this is now turning into a grind game where it's important for Donovan to find his uh, Eldritch cards. If he only has traps, like Torrential Strike, as we saw in game one, that's never enough, because uh, Christian monsters uh, are able to create advantage from the graveyard. And do you think maybe Christian sided in uh, the Barbar? Because I think it would be good against this deck by, by the moment that he plays a lot of Solemns. I mean, it would be fine. Maybe, yeah. but it's... It's a little of, uh, of a bet. Uh, it's very early in the round. There are still 36 minutes remaining. So I would be surprised if he, if he put that in, considering he only plays uh, two Burning Abyss Monsters in the main yeah. deck. So. Let's see. And here is one of them. Uh, there is not a Solemn Strike uh, on uh, the Kerobini this time, but a Summon Limit. Uh, wow. This is uh, one that hurts. Uh, absolutely. So this shuts down. Uh, Pretty much the entire deck. Yeah, this hurts a lot. Because uh, Christian cannot now special summon any other monsters. Yeah. Tough. And now he will just uh, get a card back uh, using his Phantom Knights. But he's also kind of stuck with the Cherubini, which uh, uh, now uh, doesn't have much uh, to do. He's uh, stuck under the summons. And the problem is that Christian. Uh, doesn't play many ways to, re uh, to get rid of the summon limit either. He only has uh, two copies of Cosmic Cyclone. And if Donovan now has something like a Sanguine, uh, it, this can get out of hand. Yeah, because uh, it's looking very good for Donovan, because the evil match might have hurt, but he had this uh, judgment. And if Christian doesn't find a Cyclone or uh, an RPC Feeder Duster, I don't mm. see an easy way to get rid of the summon limit. But let's see, uh, again, uh, I think it's it's on Donovan, uh, the pressure is on him to find one of his uh, trap cars, he does have it, so once again an incredible opening from Donovan, but the Ash can punish uh, this play, wow, and the strike, whoa, what an opening, so Solemn Strike, Solemn Judgment, Summon Limit, uh, and the Sanguine, so Again, pretty pretty good things uh, from Donovan. Uh, this deck uh, proving to be one of the most consistent, uh, being uh, able to put pressure and annoy your opponent. Um, and uh, I don't think he even needs to top deck uh, anything. Uh, the fusion would be probably the best, but outside of that, he's in full control at the moment. 
Yeah, I mean, I would be happy if I were Dono one, because uh, if I draw a trap card, it's, it's fine, because I have the Sanguine in the end phase, and uh, if I really top deck a Red Dice Fusion, that would be the dream, but uh, I mean, looks like uh, it's looking very good for Dono one. Absolutely, so we might see another uh, game free this time. Uh, still early to judge, uh, but for now he will uh, switch uh, his Golden Lord and push uh, some damages. So, among the best top decks uh, for sure, the the one that comes to mind is RP's Feather Duster. Yeah. But do you get the Akero here or the Conquistador? They both have merits, I guess. I think I would get the Conquistador here, just to be sure, you know. Uh... There's not an easy way to get rid of the Golden Lore in this spot. Also because in the graveyard there's only the graph that really matters. Yeah. So I will get the Conquistador. Makes sense. Uh, let's see if he agrees. He does. So Conquistador is set up. And uh, I think uh, we really need uh, an Evenly or, uh, or an RP Feather yeah. Duster from the top, uh, from Christian, to change this game around. Let's see if he can get it. No, Card no is drawn. Maybe we'll soon consider if he can come back, because otherwise... Uh, and it is something that he's using, so let's see if it's actually one of them. Oh, it's probably a monster, no, though. Okay, it's okay, so it's Dark Scale, and... Uh, I mean, he's gonna try his best uh, to work with what he's got. Uh, again, there, there are 32 minutes left, so no need to give up uh, yet uh, you can always rely on uh, a mistake for your opponent uh, but Donovan is good enough and I think uh, that seals the deal uh, Donovan convincingly take this game with only two turns uh, uh, the summon limit was unbreakable but what really won the game was once again the solemn judgment stopping the evenly matched and uh, it's 1-0 so uh, game three, one more time, uh, and now it's Christian's side. Uh, he's free to combo. Uh, I think uh, LeBlanc will finally have some end traps for the first yeah. time. I think he will side in the Nibiru as well uh, as the English match. Because, uh, I mean, getting second against this kind of deck is scary, especially if you saw what Christian can do with this deck. Because uh, if you start things off with Tron Scale or Kajun Musha, for example, with only two cards, you can put up a huge field. And I think he will side in the Nibiru. Oh, okay, an interesting uh, card is Christian is playing is the Drag It Down. Yeah, Drag Down. Uh, a card we have seen in Goki format a while ago. Uh, very unusual, but it's there to guarantee that your combo goes off. As we saw, any two level freeze guarantees uh, the combo from Christian. So he's playing that to prevent Nibiru mainly, yeah. uh, but unfortunately for him, as we can see, uh, uh, Donovan is siding not only Nibiru, but his friend Dimension Shifter, which uh, we have seen yesterday in Madolce, but it's just as good in a deck like Donovan's. And I think if, uh, if he gets it, uh, it completely shuts down Christian. Yeah, I think this is the card you really, you really want to see in your very first turn, because uh... I mean, uh, I, on top of my mind, I think the Mansion Shifter really hurts a lot the Phantom Knight deck. So, he plays with the Graveyard, uh, you know, every every Phantom Knight active is in the Graveyard, and uh, it might hurt a lot. So, he has quite a few options, so the Dimension Shifter, the Nibiru, also the Evenly Match is fine. But, uh, we will soon see if he happens to draw one in his starting end. Yeah, so... No matter what, we are finding out who the first uh, player in the right bracket will be to advance to the top four. Uh, so let's see. Uh, again, there are quite different approaches. Uh, if it is Donovan, uh, we would have uh, <laughs> quite a surprise because we would have two uh, red eyes uh, decks advancing. Uh, but uh, let's see if that will be the case. So let's see if now Christian. Final ends. Dimension Shifter probably would be used pretty soon. Let's see. 
If he doesn't have an Entrap though, I gotta give the advantage to Christian because we saw what his deck can do. And here is Tour Guide. First time we see it uh, in action from Christian. It's a free off in his deck, not a surprise. He can do so much with just one card. So. Was good when uh, we used to play it. <laughs> yeah, 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 absolutely. <laughs> been a while. Yeah, been a while. And here is maybe the shifter. Yes, wow. wow. This is uh, <laughs> tough. This changes everything from uh, for Christian. The shifter is there, oh. but the lance has changed. Uh, wow, what a. Okay, he cannot I use cannot. it because it's, it cannot be used during All your right. opponent turn. So I think maybe. He got a little ahead of himself here, so let's see. I think the main reason why he's added in the the Lancia maybe is because of the of the draft cards Donovan is playing. Yeah, maybe he thought he could have activated it immediately, but uh... yeah, it would be a shame uh, because uh, the idea on paper was correct. Uh, but uh... oh, yes, drag it down. This is this is nice. Okay. Because unfortunately the artifacts uh, are supposed to be used. Wow! Yes, double lance, yeah. Uh, this, is, uh, this is quite tough. Uh... Ooh, but the Red Eyes uh, Dark uh, Dragon is also in, in the end. So this is gonna be a, an interesting matchup. Donovan drew both Nibiru and the Shifter. He has another copy. He has to drag it down. Yeah. No, I think if I were Christian right now, I mean, I would not be scared by Nibiru because he could play around it, right? Absolutely. So, okay. so maybe you can get rid of the Aquero or the Strike. Yeah, Yeah, the Aquero makes the most sense because he will yeah. be banished. So yeah. you, you need to turn this into a grind game. Yeah. Because now the plan is just end your turn. Like, draw and end your yeah. turn. But I'm really confused about the land sales. Like, maybe he thought that they were going to be useful for, like, an evenly matched. I'm not sure. No, yeah. Uh... Maybe the thing is that uh, he could have thought that uh, Lancia could be used against uh, the Shifter. He, he could be. Or... Um, I mean, rather than that, I think... That, uh, Christian showing <laughs> us his uh, impeccable manicure right now. <laughs> but... Uh, yeah, outside of that, the, what makes the most sense is to just end uh, the turn, I guess. Uh, Maybe because it was scary. What of the size? No. Okay, so the Lance is used. I think it's also banished by the shifter. Yeah. But yeah. Okay. Um I mean I will not be Which I don't understand because I think it's gonna be <laughs> beneficial for uh, for Donovan uh, now. Yeah, that's what I was saying. It's, I mean uh, if I were Donovan I would it's be pretty much a minus one. I uh, yeah, I'm getting confused by I mean, he probably thinks that it was gonna be good for the yeah. bots. Uh, I, at this point, I think that's the only explanation. But now another drag it down. So this game is getting uh, out of end real quick. Uh, but this makes sense. He knows that the Nibiru is yeah. there. So he wants to get rid of the Nibiru now. D, 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 draw. Okay, Monster Reborn, huh? I think. Yeah? Maybe no. they ran, they ran I, they, up, right? They're, ah, yeah, they ran yeah, up. Yeah, 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 they ran up. So Nibiru is gone. And maybe we're gonna start seeing some normal uh, Yu-Gi-Oh things uh, in this duel for the first time. Uh, but he now knows that he has to play around uh, yeah. some traps. Yeah, you know? he has the strike. Yeah. And I'm curious to see what Donovan uh, drew for, because he doesn't know the other two cards Donovan It's has. tough now, because if you go for Cherubini, yeah, uh, uh, what do you do? Cherubini, maybe here, uh, Not sure. It's it's not easy because uh, I mean you can really just try and push the most damage you can. Yeah. This is literally how Christian won game yeah. one. He was behind in terms of advantage, but he just won because his opponent activated so many solemns this uh, in this match. So let's see. Does he want to activate the second? Wow. Okay, he does. Okay, drag down. Seems like he didn't find what he was looking for. And uh, the same will be for Donovan, who basically has been showing his opponent to the end of the entire duel. 
and it's a good pick again. Yeah. So extravagance uh, is uh, discarded. Uh, and now Christian, uh, in a way, is doing his opponent a favor as well because every drag hit down is uh, essentially a minus. So. What is he is he looking for? Probably a Phantom Knight would be great, uh, but the other back rows are worrying me. So it seems like he's, uh, as I said, unfortunately. Uh, he knows that his opponent is playing summon limit, so that that might hurt. Okay, he finds a okay. Phantom Knight. Boots is uh, Boots is okay. At least it gives you some resources, yeah. but the land. Okay. Ooh, torrential. So. Torrential Tribute Earths. This means that uh, even if you summon a Seer, then uh, it doesn't do anything because uh, uh, Christian is not playing uh, BA. Yeah. Christian is just playing Cherubini and the Seer is completely useless. It's just a 1600 that, that can push some damage. Uh, and you cannot use it for other purposes. So uh, I think Donovan is in a great spot at the moment and uh, I again, I'm I'm slightly confused just by those uh, two artifact lands uh, yeah. being sided in by a deck that, at the end of the day, is a combo deck. So you don't even want to side the too many cards in. So. And he also drew all of them, all of the all of the copies. So yeah. Yeah, I maybe thought it was a good choice to side them in. Although, I mean, uh, by going first, you don't see that very often, no. especially. By a deck that is a combo, and as one. expected, unfortunately, all he has to do is this, and uh, uh, I don't know. Yeah, just pray that a 1600 uh, are gonna get you there. For now, it seems like Donovan doesn't pick up uh, another pot uh, on another way to push. But as soon as he will get uh, any Eldritch card, uh, I don't see this going well. The clock uh, is not ticking that fast either. Yeah. But uh, let's see. Yeah, I think you just attack and yeah. pray. This is turned into a desperation <laughs> battle where Donovan uh, just uh, prays that he can get a fusion or any Adlik uh, monster or. Yeah, I mean, uh, first land, uh, he, has yeah. he has so many draws, yeah. and this takes uh, four turns uh, to win, meaning uh, the chance is so low for Donovan to be able to lose this way. Yeah, I think he's at the bottom phase and just you mm -hmm. know, deal some damage. He's contemplating a lot. Okay. Okay. He doesn't feel that way, so the seer is gonna be destroyed. Whenever it's some, it's instantly. So. Yeah, he's, he's, he's risking it because uh, he knows that Donovan has the solemn strike. Yeah. So sooner or later, we will soon see solemn strike being activated by Donovan. I think he will. Just uh, we it, yeah, right? we are just gonna see if he sided in the barbar, but doesn't seem so. And this way, he will try and use the boots, uh, but I don't know what he's going for because if he goes for the boots, add something and discard it for the uh, scales. He's a Astral Prison. Ooh, yeah, okay. This is huge. Wow, this is a blowout. Uh, Dragon's Prison, uh, amazing card on his own, shines even more in this specific matchup. Uh, so, seems like the deck uh, from. Uh, Christian uh, has found his opposition and the extravagance yeah. is picked up. Tough, tough times. Uh, Donovan uh, with uh, the control deck again showing uh, what he's doing to his opponent. But... And now Donovan is really hoping uh, to draw, you know, an Eldland or a Dice Fusion mm -hmm. and that will put, you, will put him uh, very forward in this game. Yeah. Let's see if he can finally pick up uh, any uh, card to play with and not to just interact. But the problem is that now, even just cards to interact with your opponent are good because you are six cards against yeah, one. Exactly. So the advantage is a plus five, which is uh, unbelievable. And uh, again, the only the only thing stopping uh, uh, Christian, uh, I, I don't see I don't see his perspective here. Just literally the the the. The, the only chance is that Donovan doesn't pick up anything here. Yeah. The Sanguine, I think, uh, is enough to guarantee him the, uh, the spot in the top four. So let's see just how he will manage to do it. So Yeah, this is what Donovan was hoping for. 
Christian tried his best with what he had, and uh, we have to say he was very unfortunate at drawing uh, into three Lancias because they were very not useful. Yeah, unfortunately, the drag down, he basically uh, drew all of his uh, yeah. side deck, but yeah, here, the Aquero even now uh, to just push more damage, punish uh, one of his opponent cards, the rank up. Uh, does he even have the Conquistador? No, but. The advantage is uh, through the roof. Yes, uh, yes. Right now it's like seven cards against zero, and uh, I wouldn't want to be in Christian uh, shoes. Uh, it still showed up another Ice Dragon Prison. Wow. Uh, gonna uh, get something from the grave. We're gonna go for a Link Summon. Just wants to push as much damage as possible. Yeah, I think he was a little too fast on that. Maybe he thought that there was a warrior and he could have just yeah. banished uh, both cards, but... So Donovan just has to play calmly. I know he's he's getting super excited. Uh, he's already seeing the prize card uh, uh, in his hands, uh, but he needs to stay focused and not give his opponent any chance because right now he's the one in the driving seat uh, uh, and deciding uh, completely the pace uh, for this match. Yeah, it needs to be calm and uh, doesn't have to be so excited because uh, the game is far from over, but uh, is in total control. Yeah, no, as long as he doesn't mess up and he plays his cards uh, right, I think there is no single top deck from Christian yeah. deck that can save him. Uh, but I didn't like this uh, Ice uh, Prison. Yeah, I think I mean, it was uh, uh, it was quite wasted. Uh, maybe he and... thought he could get rid of both the tour guide. Yeah. yeah. For now, he just banishes. Yeah, the yeah, Akero get the Conquistador or another copy, and it seemed like he's done. I think he's now entering the uh, end phase. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And he also has the Solemn Strike, so. Yeah, we know that the face down is the card revealed from Drag Down. Uh, at the beginning of the duel. So with the strike, uh, two traps. I think literally maybe only they evenly matched uh, to uh, get rid of some advantage, but outside of that, I don't see it. So probably just evenly matched off the top, and yeah. even then, it's not really giving you the game, it's just uh, buying you some time, I think. Let's see. I think Christian, uh, yeah, will maybe try, you know, mm -hmm. to maybe do you activate the strike here. No, there's, I don't think there's. No, you have so no much. Uh, yeah. There is no reason to. He sends the cloak, and uh, in our response we strike. Okay. Makes yeah. Sense. So. Again, really doesn't want to risk it uh, at all, and uh... and now Christian is only left with one car, so yeah, it's a danger. <laughs> and yeah, he has seen enough. So uh, well played by both of these guys, but the one who will advance to the top four will be Donovan LeBlanc. So congratulations to him; he is the winner for this round. Another great match once again, and once again, I gotta say the Red Eyes uh, Adlik deck uh, showing up strong. It's uh, by far the deck with the highest win rate this weekend. Only two players brought it, but both of them are in top four now guaranteed. So, incredible show by the deck. There is a chance that they will even meet in the finals because they are in the opposite side of the bracket. 
Uh, but again, uh, congratulations to Christian too. Uh, he showed up with pride, bringing uh, his own deck, uh, a unique one. No one else uh, brought it this weekend. Uh, and I have not seen around in the qualifiers uh, either. So you got to give credit to him. But in the end, uh, his opponent just proved, uh, even though in game one, uh, he was the one to actually fight back. So we had an incredible start. Yeah, I mean, uh, starting things off with three Solemns, the Curse Saddle and the Red Dice Fusion. Christian was able to, to fuck back and win the game, so... Yeah, we, we really wouldn't have bet on it, but the Ash on the Red Ice Fusion gave the game to Christian. And I gotta say, at the time he had the advantage. We yeah. thought, yeah. okay, he won game one with outside the cars, and now it's gonna be easier. But game two, he didn't have much of a chance. He tried his best to stay in the game. But I gotta say, the one that was the most surprising was game three. Yeah. Sure. It was the first time in the event that uh, Christian got to go first. Uh, his opponent, uh, unfortunately for him, opened with a Dimension Shifter, which shuts down his deck. Uh, but uh, from there on, a little bit of confusion uh, in the side deck. Uh, we see two copies of Lancea, two copies of Drag Down. Uh, and Lancea against his opponent deck uh, was not doing much. He tried to chain it to the Shifter, but of course that wasn't possible. And uh, uh, from there on, he pretty much had uh, no way to play the game at all. He had such a disadvantage and uh, congratulations to Donovan. But now, guys, th thanks again for watching. Uh, we have uh, only a few more matches to show you. And the next one coming up is a pretty important one. We are going to find out who the opponent for Donovan LeBlanc will be in the top four. It's the last match in the top eight for the day. So keep watching, stay tuned, and we will be back soon with round four.